I don't know, Brendan. Uh, yeah. I know these were your idea, but... Uh, I think I know what you're going to say. Yeah. Looks more like I'm going to my prom than my wedding. Yeah. Uh, so you're thinking the green ones with the big ties, those were better? You know what? Those were great. Yeah. But let's try some other ones. Okay. Hey, have you been rolling around naked in poison ivy or something? Um, probably. Why? Because there is an alarming red blotch on your back. Oh, that. No, that's a, I call that the crab. The crab. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, let's go to the doctor now. No, it's just, I call it, I call it the crab because it looks like a crab on my back. Look. Mm-hmm. That's great. Well, I guess I won't worry about it then. Great. This sucks. I look like a magician. Oh, you look good. No, I look like a magician. <clears throat> no, well, you look like a waiter at a restaurant that has no child labor laws. Yeah. You know what? This is, I think this is the best we're going to do. There you are. Ah! Sorry. <sighs> don't you know how to knock? It's a curtain. Well, why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Thanks. Brendan. Yeah? Your playing was bad today. Thank you. Really bad. Thank you. I want you to know that. Yeah. And you're probably not going to get better. Mm. I also want you to know that. Well, I appreciate your frankness. Uh, but I, I didn't want to overexert myself today, Coach. Why is that? Because I got a rash. You do? Yes, I do. Where is that rash? It's on my back. You want to see? Sure. Here you go. It's not really a rash, Brendan. Yeah, it is. Trust me, in the world of rashes, that is not a rash. Mm. Do you want to know what a real rash is? No. I'll tell you. You get a rash somewhere on your body. It hurts so bad that you go blind. Mm. That's how bad it is. Yeah. You blow up like a balloon. Right. You look like a circus freak. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Next thing you know, you're in the circus, touring, making good money. Ah. You know my life. Uh, coach, you know, right, I in conclusion, I... Brendan, mm. rashes come from bad hygiene. Mm. All right, so what you got to do, yeah. whenever you go to a public restroom, huh. you sit on a toilet seat, put the toilet seat cover down. Yeah. If they don't have them there, manufacture one out of toilet paper or your shirt or your socks, anything to cover the seat. Uh, yeah, Coach, that's my ride. What? Who? That my mom and her, and her friend are picking me up. Well, I should say hi to your mom. Uh, Tell her how bad you played. That's all right. You ready to go? Hello, little Brendan. <laughs> Remember me? Yeah. Ah. Uh, Stephanie's yeah. in town for the wedding, Brendan. Uh, yeah. No, uh, how are you? How are you? you? Good. I mean, I'm great. great. Oh, it's so Ow. good to see you Ow. again, little baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, <clears throat> hello. I'm uh, Coach McGurk. Hi, Paula. Hi. <clears throat> uh, this is... Coach McGurk, Coach McGurk, Stephanie. Well, pleased to uh, meet you, Stephanie. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. My, look at you. You're you're a big fella. Uh huh. Are you a bodybuilder? Oh no, no, just a big fella. <laughs> just blessed with bigness. <laughs> so, were you uh, visiting, or are you? Well, I'm in town for the next few days, uh -huh. so I'll be around. <laughs> Here for the next few days, you know, at uh, at, at the smalls. Well, that's convenient because I live here. Well, and... we should get going. Mm. He seemed nice, didn't he? Sure, if you're sure. Yeah, he's harmless. He's big and athletic, and he's. Mom, that uh, that reminds me. I uh, I invited Coach McGurk to Dad's wedding. I, I don't. Brendan, you can't just invite people to the wedding. Why not? Well, because it's not like a birthday party or something. I mean, it's expensive. It's, but I already told him. Well, you'll have to explain to him that you didn't know. Well, that's embarrassing for me. Well, that's too bad. Well, it's still too... Well, I think it's great to have him come to the wedding. See, Mom, Stephanie thinks it'd be a good idea. Brendan. I'm just saying, you, Stephanie, you think it's a good idea, right? Yes. See? I mean, he really seemed nice. See? I mean, guys, he seemed see? really... Guys, Brendan. What? Tell him, okay? Okay, all right. Pardon me, are you the Dragon Mastress? Mm, yes. Yes, I am. I wonder if you could give me directions. Where are you going? To the splendid eternal unitement of the Fairy Princess and the Milady of Flowers. That's weird. That's where I'm going. You can come with me on my dragon. He's my friend, and I own him. That's a good deal. Yeah, it is. But before I let you ride my dragon, my magical dragon, who I own, I must know, who are you? Oh. I am Elfor, the land standard. Are you magical? Mmm, kind of. I'm not as magical as much as I am a land stander. Which is? I stand on land. Oh, I guess anybody could be one of those. Well, I'm 
Yeah. Yeah, well, let me summon my dragon, my beloved friend and slave. Sounds like a complicated relationship. Not for me. Dragon! Come now, dragon! Attack! Uh, 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 call off your dragon! Call him off! In a moment! Call him off! Mm, okay. Dragon, stop! Uh, why did you attack me, dragon? Why? You need a reason? I, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I just attack somebody. It's not you, pal. It's me. Mm. So, friend of the bride or the groom? A hey, uh, groom. Uh, bride. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, cut, cut. I gotta get the phone. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Paula? Uh, no, uh, who's this? This is Arnold Lindenson. Who's this? This is Brendan. This is her son. Ah, oh, come on. Don't lie to me. Who is this? Uh, uh, <clears throat> is this uh, her daughter? Is this Brendan? Are you her daughter? This is Brendan, her son. Hello, dearie. Hi, um... Well, anyway, is your mother home? No, uh, she's busy. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of in a rush, so, uh, uh, can I, can I take a message? Tell your mother to call me ASAP. Mm -hmm. It's imperative that I talk to her ASAP. <clears throat> or as close to ASAP as she can, that would be ACASAP. Have her call me ACASAP. Okay. Or whenever she gets a free minute, mm -hmm. which would be Washaka for mom. Ah. Thank you, young lady. Sorry, guys. Uh, should we just uh, pick up where we left off? I might go casual. You know, nothing too fancy. Yeah, I don't think you have to dress up nice for a second marriage. Yeah, it doesn't matter. First marriage, yes. Yeah. Second marriage, nah. Hey, Brendan, what are you wearing to the wedding? Uh, 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 I'm wearing a tux. Uh, Edo. Ooh, fancy. Wow. Mm, thank you. But uh, actually, I need to talk to you guys about the wedding. The thing is, I invited you guys without asking first to see if it was all right to invite you guys. What and... are you trying to say, Brendan? You're not uninviting us, are you, Brendan? Uh, no. Uh, no, I'm not. I, you guys are definitely coming, right? And, and I mean, that's final, you know. So, um... Brendan? Yeah? There's something on your neck. Uh, Jason, I said you're coming. There's no need to try to scare me. Ew, Brendan, there is something on your neck. Some kind of creeping crud stuff. Oh, you guys mean this? Oh, no, this is this is nothing. It's it's a rash or something. Maybe it's the mange. What's that? It's a um, disease that wild dogs get. I don't think it's mange. Maybe it's the creepy crud. It looks like creepy crud. Guys, it's just a creepy crud. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Well, don't pick at it. I'm not picking. Jason? Could be diaper rash, Brendan. On his neck? I've seen it in stranger places, Melissa. Like where? Like my butt. Did somebody put their butt on your neck? Did a baby put its butt on your neck? Not that I know of. Are you it's... sure, Brendan? Maybe when you were sleeping. <laughs> Linda, really, I insist. I will totally take care of the flowers. Mom? Glad to do. I have Mom? a friend in the business. Not really a friend. An acquaintance, sort of. But this will work out fine. It'll Mom? Be... Ho hold on a second, Linda. What is it, Brendan? Uh... Can it wait? Uh, I don't remember. We'll talk later, okay? Linda? Mom? Hi, hi sorry. So tell me... Mom? <sighs> yes, Brendan. Uh... The hell I'm not going, Brendan. I was told that it was supposed to be a small, intimate event. So? I'm going. Too late. You already invited me. That Stephanie girl's going, right? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'm disinviting you to the wedding. I'm sorry, but that is final. Did she say anything about me? She can't... Yes. She, she won't shut up about you, and I hate it. See? And this girl's a sure thing. You know what that means, Brendan? I have a pretty good idea. Well, I don't know if you do. Well, let me explain. Some girls are really easygoing. You're not going? You, you're you not going! Yes, I am, Brendan. No, you can't come! Yes, I can, Brendan! No! Absolutely not! Absolutely not! Brendan, I'm going! No, you are not! Yes, I am! You cannot come! I'm going! No, you're not! I am! No, you're not! I am! Ceremonies one. Guests should arrive at 1230. Uh, good. Oh, hi. Hi. So, big day. How you feeling? Nervous? A little bit. Linda said you had something for her? Oh, right, right, right. Come in. Oh, so disgusting. Maybe if I put a little... Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I'm gross! Andrew, you remember Stephanie, right? Oh, yeah, Stephanie Wright. 
no, it's Stephanie. I'm kidding. Oh, you. Well, yeah, you know. Uh, <gasps> listen, we have to go, okay? okay? I have to stop at the store. This this right. is the perfume Linda wanted. Okay, got this it. This is the something borrowed, right. and I'm stopping to pick up something blue. I'm thinking about mouthwash. Great. Listen, uh, can I use your bathroom now? I just, I've been going all morning. It's nerves. Remember our wedding? No, it's not nerves. It's just the, my thing, my bladder thing. Right. Yeah, I got too much urine in my bladder. Uh, okay, well, we, we'll see you there, all right? Bye. Mom? Dad? Dad, 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 dad. Mom, dad, mom, dad. Mom? Uh oh. in your face. There's some rash. You've got something on your face, you know. I know. Face is covered with some kind of a... I got a rash. Do you know who I am? Do you remember mm -hmm. me? No. I'm Mr. Lindenson. Uh, Mr. Lindenson. Yeah. Did you remember to give your mother my message ASAP? Not yet. No. But I... I, I... said ASAP. I'm gonna tell her. Soon. What is going on with your face? It's a rash. Are you allergic to something? Do you have... I don't know. Don't touch me. I'm not. I'm allergic to people with allergies. <clears throat> Where's your mother? Is your mother home? No, she went to a wedding. My, my father's getting married. Didn't they invite you? Yes, I... You're part of the family? I know. That seems odd. <clears throat> Maybe they're scared of your rash. No, I'm supposed to carry the ring, but they left without me. Hey, do you want to go to the wedding? Are you inviting me? If you drive me. I'm in! That wasn't too hard. Well, I'm, I don't have a lot in my plate today. I, I'm so embarrassed. I, I don't know what could have, I mean, I asked for flowers. I mean, obviously, they misunderstood me. Obviously. But, yeah. Okay, um, everything's all set, but they double booked. Andrew, we can't have a wedding and a funeral go on at the same time. <laughs> no, 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 we don't have to, we don't have to. They're gonna let us go first. Oh, thank God. Okay, little caveat, they won't move the casket. It's bad luck. Bad luck? They're already dead. Well, it's bad luck for the family, but don't worry. Andrew, I cannot get married in front of a casket. You know about my phobia. No, it's okay. There's a bright side to this. It's a great story to tell the divorce lawyer later. <laughs> we got <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 Your mother's a wonderful teacher. Then why did he fire her? Hey, 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 hey. Don't make me the bad guy. I may be the bad guy, but don't make me the bad guy. So, do you want to be a teacher when you grow up? Follow in your mother's footsteps? Uh, no. Good. It's a thankless job. I want to be a filmmaker. Oh, really? A yeah. filmmaker? Wow! <laughs> That's interesting because I happen to dabble in acting. Uh, Did you ever see Death of a Salesman? Death of a Salesman? <laughs> you kidding? No. I played Biff. Is that a game? Would you like to hear a scene? Uh, Good. <laughs> hey, Pop, didn't you see my sneakers? Uh, it would... would it kill anybody to tell me where my sneakers went? Yeah, that's a... Uh... The salesman is dead. The end. Hey, let's take it again from the top. Uh, at the church, we, we just passed the wedding. Barry? Yeah, I like weddings. Uh, me too. Who are you going to marry, Barry? You! Ha ha. Well, Walter, you know, we're not getting any younger. <laughs> oh my god, stop. I think I know what you're gonna say. You do? <laughs> the answer is yes, Barry. Yay. <laughs> Barry? Yeah? You've made me the happiest person in the world. You, me too. Oh my god, I can't believe we're getting married. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> oh my god. Perry? Uh, Perry? Yeah? Don't ever leave me. I won't. <laughs> hey, Perry, I'm like... getting nervous about this. Don't be, why are you so scared? Because it's a big step, Perry. But I think we're ready. Are we? Yeah. You know why? Because I can feel it in here. What are you pointing to? Walter, we should get married in a big church. And then you, um, Perry? Yeah? You'll lift me up and lift me over the threshold. Okay. Get on, get on my back. This is how we'll let's, do it. 
That's it, not how we do get it. Get on. This is how we do it. No. Yeah. This, yeah, yeah. This piggyback, Perry. But maybe this won't work out. Pick me up the other way. Like this? Yeah. That doesn't seem right. Now cross me over to the threshold. Okay, but your head's gonna bump into my knees. It's pretend, Perry. I don't know how much longer I can hold you. Maybe if we lay down like this. Perry, you're squishing my head. I'm sorry. Here, I'll lift you up a little higher. Just get me over the threshold, Perry. Because your head's be... Perry, I want to go over the threshold now. It, it's hard for me to talk. Perry, all of the brothers are into my head. I go out of school. Perry, put me down. Okay. <sighs> That was fun. That's every day will be like that when we get married. It's true. Well, hello there, beautiful. Hi yourself, cowboy. Mmm, you smell nice. Thanks, deodorant. But enough about my smells. Let's talk about you, Angel Face. Well, it just so happens that Angel Face got a room here. Care to check out the architecture? Well, let me grab my blueprints. Good. We'll survey the landscape. Yeah, and then we'll cut the lawn. Hmm? Well, 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 what a small world, Paula Small. Mr. Lindenson, what are you doing here? Your son invited me. Paula, we have to talk. Where is Brendan? He went to the bathroom, poor little fella. Is now a good time for a dialogue? No. Hey, uh, we're ready to go. Where's Brendan? Brendan's in the bathroom. This is my old boss, Mr. Lindenson. Paula, uh -huh. I'm not your old boss anymore. I'm your new old boss. Boss! What? I'm excited! Can you tell? Yeah. I'll bring it down a notch. Paula, yes. I've come here on the day of your ex-husband's wedding. Thanks for reminding. To offer you your old job back. Congratulations! What? Yes, you heard me. Who couldn't hear me? Oh my god, wow! <laughs> that, that's great! Thank you! Oh, easy. <laughs> Take it easy! Brendan, come on out. You cannot stay in there forever. Yes, I can! I'm a monster! I'm a monster! I think you might be overreacting. Oh, no! This is some ugly stuff. Brendan. What? It's Jason. What do you want? Um, I had a thought. Maybe you're turning into a werewolf. Is that possible? Jason, don't even joke about that! Brendan, I'm not joking! Do you have any hair growing on the back of your hands? No. Brendan, it's Jason again. Do you have any hair on your chest? Give me a second. Check your chest. <gasps> Melissa, put Jason on the door. He's here. We're I'm both right here, here, Brendan. Okay. No, there's no hair on the chest. Okay. Brendan. What? Do you have any hair on your head? Yes, I do. Oh, my yes, God. Yes, I do. Just as I feared. Melissa, get the garlic. That's for vampires. Brendan, don't listen to Jason. Come out here. It can't be that bad. We're here for you. I just want to come outside. Come on. It's me. It's Melissa and Jason. Yeah, you come guys, on out, Brendan. Okay, if I come out, you promise not to freak out. I don't want to promise. Just promise. I mean, you want to see this, right? Yeah. We promise! Promise! It's a uh, nice room you got here. Yeah, but you know what's not so nice? What's that? My back sore oh dear um it looks fine it doesn't look that bad it looks it looks fine really but you know what just in case i have a plan my back uh, used to be sore actually uh -huh. a few years ago so welcome to the club the back oh. the sore back club <laughs> yeah yeah, well, yeah see my my shoulders mm -hmm. are so 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 tense mm. And I had a hernia once that was a, a mother. You have any ideas to make my back feel better? Well, uh, pills. That's what I used. And alcohol. Uh-huh. And, um, you can't beat a good night's sleep. Oh. I'll tell you that. Um, heating pad? <clears throat> you have any other ideas? I think the heating pad was the best one. I Where is Brendan? Uh, Mr. Small, uh, Brendan is right here. You, Mom, Dad. What's up? Uh, Dad? I think it's over, Melissa. Uh, what, what's going on? Where is Brendan? I'm right here. Uh, Melissa, forget it. The jig is up. I'm right here! Oh, my God! Brendan? Oh, my God, he's loose. <clears throat> so, what do your uh, parents do for a living? They're retired. Oh, that's the big payoff. Uh-huh. You know, after a long life of hard work. Oh. I certainly can't wait. Uh. I'm getting cold. Oof. Um, 
Brendan, Ooh, honey? Mom. How are you feeling? I had the weirdest dream. I dreamt that I had a rash and that I was ugly. And you were there. And so were you. And, and that guy was there, too. I don't even know him. Doesn't anybody believe me? We all believe you, Brendan. It wasn't a dream. It wasn't? No. I was afraid of that. Little boy, have you been under some stress lately? Uh... How is he? Well, the doctor gave him an antihistamine. He'll probably sleep now. Well, the minister left. He left? <laughs> he said he couldn't wait around any longer. What are we going to do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All I wanted to do was to get married. <laughs> Hello, how are all of you today? I am your new minister for this ceremony. Okay, I haven't done this recently, or not in the past, but I assure you that what I am about to do is perfectly legal, safe, and tax deductible. All right, who's ready? Yes, let me uh, refresh my memory here. We are gathered here today. Ha! <laughs> I knew I'd get it. To get to, don't tell me, I got it. To wed this couple? You betcha. All right, now we're moving along in a healthy clip. What should we do now, hmm? Dear me, um, I think this cowboy's gonna get going. Um, thank you for having me here, though, and uh, oh. tell your parents I said hi. Congratulations on the retirement. I know it can be a tough transition, bye. This journey has been most amusing. Yes, it has, Landstander. It's a shame that none of you shared my cursed rash. Would have been nice to have traded some stories of rashes, hey. But don't you understand, Landstander? You brought that curse on yourself. You could have willed it away at any time. Well, nobody told me. You needed to learn your lesson, aren't I right, my dragon, slave, companion, life friend, that I own for eternity, <sighs> who belongs to me, Look, but is also my friend? I think we need to have a small chit-chat about Shut up, dragon! See, sorry, sorry. What were you going to say? No. That... Stop! It's just that that's my point. It's so strange that I could have willed the Shut rash. Shut up, Landstander! Just stand there. Hey, why are you Dragon, yelling? attack! attack! Ah! Ah! I just want to stand on land. 